Roll on video, roll on sound. Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be talking about a new prototype for modular character sheets. This one changes the way characters develop. It was inspired by one of Matt Colville's videos on rewards. You should definitely go check that video out. It's pretty awesome. You should probably go check out all of his videos. They're all really cool. Link in the doobly-doo down below. But yeah, let's dive into it. So in Matt Colville's video, he talks about how player rewards are important and that no matter which class you pick and what adventuring you do in fifth edition, you kind of just get things each level. Whether you adventure or not, you still get cool things every level. So I had an idea is why don't you take what you get as a character and break up your advancement into little bits and pieces and scatter those throughout your world so you have to explore and find those things. So I did that on these modular character sheets by then taking the stats that a character would gain, breaking them out in a little cubes of equipment. So the main stats would then be acquired through armor. Okay, so let's take a closer look at these things. So your character sheet is basically this index card. So this is a very simplified version that I made for my wife and son to play test. My son's seven and my wife doesn't play a whole lot of RPGs, so I kind of just boiled it down to see if this sort of thing would work. Your base character sheet tells you your stats. So without any equipment, you have 10 health, so 10 HP, 10 armor, and you move six squares. So yeah, I, I've eliminated a whole lot of the nuance. There's no races, there's no uh, base stats or anything, but that this way it just could be simplified, but you could also move the slider and make it more complicated or less complicated for how you like. But I wanted to see if the proof of concept would work just in general. So from there, I broke the stats out onto equipment. So I made four slots of equipment for armor, and then the rest of the slots are pretty much how standard D&D works. The four slots of armor now replace how your stats would work. So to get that, I broke down just three basic classes. You'll have a class of light armor, medium armor, and heavy armor. So basic like cloth, leather, or some sort of mail. And each of the four slots would grant you a stat. So again, I broke the stats down more simply to where we have like strength, dexterity, and a magic stat. So like intelligence and charisma. Uh, dexterity would actually be dexterity and willpower, and strength would be strength and constitution when it comes to saving throws. So the stats on each item would just be add to roll. So to simplify it, I got rid of stats and then bonuses to hit. Instead, all of the stats are just your bonus to hit. So if you have a piece of chainmail with one strength on it, that means you add one to all strength checks, all attack rolls that use strength, so on and so forth. This again is more simplified for this version just to see if it works. So what I did is I broke out the math for what a level one character would have and what a level 20 character would have. And if you line up the numbers, you can figure out what each sort of piece of armor would have on it. So if you would look at this character, this character would have a 12 armor class, a plus two to hit with any dexterity weapons. So the idea of advancement would then be you would equip armor and equipment that would have increased stats and increased hit points. So the increases could be more incremental and it would be loot and treasure you would find throughout the dungeon. Also, you could find spells. Right now I just have a bunch of cantrips up, but these could very easily be level one, level two spells. And then the players would only be able to equip whatever spells or abilities they find. This kind of takes away customization from the players, but it also gives them the agency to go out and discover things, which then should motivate the players seeking more rewards. Now this may unbalance things, but then again, the DM decides what skills, abilities, and spells the players can have access to and you can slowly dole out different amounts. So yeah, again, this is kind of a proof of concept and I just started play testing it and nowhere near enough data to know if it works or not, but I just thought it was a really neat idea. It kind of turns D&D more into a Souls-like game where you're exploring the world to get all of your neat little things. You can really take it and make it more complicated or less complicated. I made it less complicated just because of the current players at my table. You could really take any player character, break down the stats, chop them up into little pieces of equipment and spread it out or just anything, spread it out throughout and have the players explore and find things. Um, I will be making a more printer-friendly version of this for more people to play test. Let me know what you think. Maybe it's a crazy idea. Maybe you think it's a good idea. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. That really helps the channel out. If you would like to support this channel more, you can head over to Patreon. I'd like to thank both my Patreon subscribers. You two are very awesome people. Thank you for subscribing. But yeah, definitely let me know what you think of this. Thank you for stopping by.